The standard surgical treatment of superficial bladder tumors has been electrocautery fulguration using either a loop electrode or a roller ball. The disadvantage of this method of treatment is that the depth of the fulguration can be difficult to control, especially when the patient experiences bladder spasms due to stimulation of the obturator nerves. Table one shows the four types of laser energy that have been used in urology. The disadvantage of using the YAG wavelength is that the depth of penetration of the laser is very deep, almost five millimeters in depth. This is not quite so deep when the argon or KTP laser is used. With the homium laser, the depth of penetration is only approximately 0.5 millimeters, which makes it ideal for superficial tumors. CO2 lasers cannot be used in the bladder because of technical considerations such as an inability to transport the CO2 laser beam through a fiber optic cable. For homium laser treatments, a 550 micron bare fiber is used, which is very economical, costing only approximately $10 per patient. We prefer to use the McPhee modification of a standard Iglesias Stortz 26 French resectoscope for most of our homium laser procedures. When the homium laser is used as a direct contact laser, it cuts through tissue just like a scalpel. This enables the surgeon to cut across the stalk of a papillary tumor and obtain tissue for pathological examination in a manner similar to the electrocautery resection using the cutting current. When the laser is used as a near contact laser, approximately one or two millimeters away from the surface of the bladder, it can be used like a blowtorch to obtain hemostasis and to burn away papillary lesions. This is an 81-year-old white male who was diagnosed as having grade 1, stage T1 carcinoma of the bladder on September 15, 1995. His previous treatments consisted of six cystoscopies, two standard electrocautery fulgurations, one course of thiotipa installation, and four courses of BCG installations. In this video, there are two tumors located on the edge of a bladder diverticulum. These tumors would be very difficult to deal with if an attempt was made to resect them with the standard electrocautery. Another tumor is located within, within a bladder diverticulum on the left side of the bladder. If this tumor was being fulgurated with standard electrocautery, there would be a lot of obturator spasm. On turning the resectoscope with a 30 degree lens upside down, it is possible to see a large number of tumors located within a diverticulum on the anterior wall of the bladder immediately adjacent to the air bubble. These tumors would be extremely difficult to resect with standard electrocautery. It would be very dangerous to attempt to do so when they are located in a bladder diverticulum in that area. With the homium laser, it is quite safe to fulgurate these tumors because the depth of penetration is highly controlled and predictable and does not exceed one half of a millimeter. There is therefore no risk of a perforation.
On further inspection of the bladder, a few more tumors are found on the right anterolateral wall of the bladder, which are also fulgurated with the laser. It appears as though all the tumors have been eradicated. The patient was given a course of BCG consisting of six treatments with 120 milligrams for two hours each time, once a week. This is a follow-up examination three months later. His urines are negative for tumor cells. There are no tumors located within the bladder at this time. Since this examination, this patient has continued on maintenance BCG installations for another six months and had two cystoscopies which were negative and urines for tumor cells were negative. At the present time, he is on no treatments whatsoever. His bladder surveillance is being continued with three monthly urine cytology and cystoscopy. In addition to this case, there were 56 other patients with superficial bladder tumors. The recurrence rate was 17% at three months, but usually not at the site of the original tumor. In conclusion, the homium laser is a safe and effective way to treat superficial bladder tumors. The advantages of the homium laser over electrocautery for the treatment of superficial bladder tumors is as follows. One, there is no bleeding. Two, the depth of penetration is predictable and easy to control. Three, there is no obturator spasm. Four, since isotonic normal saline is used as the irrigating solution, there is no dilutional hyponatremia. Five, it is very economical. The cost of the fiber is estimated at approximately $10 per patient.